Hello. Welcome to this tutorial that will be showing you how to use Selenium and TestNG to do some simple automation testing of some websites. So basically I created a new class called Simple Browser Tests. And what we're going to do to make life simple so I don't have to keep typing my domain because we're going to use my domain for most of this. So I'm going to create a variable uh, called private and we're going to call it app URL. We are going to make sure it's private. Uh, a variable could be private or public. We're going to keep it private to this class. And basically in a nutshell, not trying to get too detailed, is this app URL variable can only be used in, be in between these two brackets. It cannot be used anywhere else outside or in another file. It stays private to this class here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do public void we'll just call this open my blog and we are going to use Firefox in the te in the web testing of the of a website so we need to create a new object of the Firefox uh, driver so we're going to do Firefox driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver now you're going to get this error because it doesn't know what Firefox driver is but one cool thing with Eclipse if we click here we can tell it to import from Selenium the Firefox driver uh, very nice feature that can be done. Uh, this is a Maven feature. This is not an Eclipse feature. So now that we do that, we're going to call on that object driver, which driver, think of it as the browser, or the Firefox browser in this um, instance. So we're going to say the Firefox inside the browser I want you to get app URL. Now I'm going to bring testng into the equation, which will is basically it is a testing framework. Uh, it allows us to do some quick testing on our code. So we're going to import that. And as far as Maven and stuff like that, uh, one of my previous tutorials, I did show you how to set up this, so you can look that up if you did not see that. So now because we did that at test annotation, we can right-click on the method, go to run test ng server. So basically, this will go out, this will open up Internet Explorer, and it's going to input that URL and go to it. So as you see, it went to it. Again, very basic stuff. Now it's going to air out because I closed it before it could actually start. So that actually will not air out because I just want to get to some more stuff and I only have the 10 minute limit of YouTube. So we're going to do public void and we're going to do search Google. And I'm just going to copy this over. And I'm going to copy this over. Now, what you could also do, let's take a look. What if we not did that? What if we tried this? What's going to happen? It's not going to like it because it. you have to, per method, you have to reinitiate that uh, that object. So we need to re-add that. 
And because of that, you don't have to name it something different, which is kind of nice. So we're going to do git, and we're going to do this, because I don't have Google's website in a variable. I'm actually going to type it out there. And then, what I'm going to do, let me actually... Let me write this code out and just get this done. And I will explain this in just a second. Or you might automatically know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to open up the browser and we're going to get google.com like we did up here. Now you're going to see some new code, this find element by name. If I run this, run this test ng, we'll see that this is going to work. And hopefully I have Firebug installed that I can show this. I do not. And because I clicked there, that caused a problem. Let's see if it will let me do a quick search. Hopefully you'd already have Firebug installed, but basically, uh, if you're if you've done HTML coding before, you can ID or you can name uh, certain objects. Um, Quit it now. Actually, we'll do it this way. Let me open up. Just open up Google. Right click. Inspect element. As you can see in here. this field, this this box, has a name Q. So, I won't get into much more detail. I mean, that's going to be for future detail, but I just wanted to quickly show you that. Um, so, that's basically the simplistics of it. Uh, I'll get some few, uh, future tutorials where I will actually go in a little bit more detail or try to pick on a specific thing to show you. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, if it has, please subscribe, uh, rate, comment. Thank you.